as this would look nice I'd like to be a nice complimented with a cream yes, I think this would just bring it away in it but there's a bit of sparkle hmm Let's see what else might I have to do a couple Ah, this pattern is quite lovely as well Oh, hello, please come in Yes, take a little break from the heat of the day It is particularly warm today I am happy to offer any passers-by, a bit of a respite from the beating sun. <laughs> Welcome to my humble tailor shop here in the fine city of Paywet. Are you just looking for a place to get out of the heat for a little while? Or can I help you with some garments or some tailoring today? Ah, you are looking for a new garment, are you? I see. You would like to look a little more like a local of Beweth. I see. I was thinking from your garb, you must be a traveller, yes. And I am glad that you have found your way here. You honour me with your presence in my shop. I would be more than happy to help you pick out a wonderful look for you that will complement your features and also help you feel at home here in the city of Beowulf. Of course, I have a wide array of different materials and different styles that we can create for you. I have outfitted some of the finest nobles in the city of Beowulf but also some of the most humble artisans or peddlers. I never turn anyone away. We are all the same under the sun. So let me first start out perhaps showing you some of the different materials that we could use for a garment for you. Now, of course, here in the city of Beowulf, we are in the heat of the desert, but keeping cool and being practical does not have to be a substitution for also looking and feeling your best as well. We have quite a few different material choices that are very lightweight and fluid and breathable, while still giving that little something to give you some economy. Now I have some lovely materials here. This is one of my most popular. I think you will see it is an absolutely beautiful material. You see it is a lovely rust colour. and It has a bit of a shimmer to it. It moves as it catches the light. The texture here is reminiscent of waves of water. Or perhaps the sand rippling in the wind outside of the city. It has a beautiful luster to it and could work very well, I think, with your skin tone. This lovely rich colour could look very, very nice as a tunic or perhaps a versatile shawl, head covering, whatever it is that you think might need. This is a beautiful, rich, opulent fabric. What if you would prefer? I do have this in another colour as well. Here, of course, in the city of Beowulf, we have our Temple of Life, dedicated to the goddess of water. Water is life, after all, especially out in the desert. And so this is a very, very popular colour. You can see it is the same texture as that other fabric. Looking like ripples in a beautiful pond. 
The light catches this fabric in such a lovely way as it moves and flows with you. This one also has some lovely embellishments here. Hand stitched in a beautiful blue and gold with some lovely little pearl beads as well. Give it just that extra little shimmer. Very regal. This one is particularly popular with the nobles and the priests and priestesses of the temple, of course. A beautiful choice for anyone, I think. Ah, you are looking for something a bit less flashy. Of course, no, that is that is perfectly fine. I have quite a few beautiful materials that will work very well for a traveller such as yourself. Perhaps you will not be in the city of Beowith for very long, but may be braving the heat of the dunes soon. Yes, well, this fabric is very, very lovely for those of us who live within the city. It may not be the most practical for someone who wishes to travel in the desert. It is a somewhat lightweight fabric, but not particularly light, so it might not work very well to protect you from the heat. But I do have some other very lovely lightweight fabrics as well. Let me see. This one is a beautiful material. You can tell even just by looking at it, it is very, very light and very soft to here, feel it. You can see it is a very finely woven material with beautiful movement to it. Reminiscent again of the colours of the sand that you will find outside the city. Now this one is, as I said, very light and thin but still opaque so it could work very well for a tunic, perhaps, if that is what you would like. Mm. Perhaps this colour though, not particularly the best with your skin tone. I think it could work, but perhaps we could do something that would complement your features a bit better. Not to worry, I have some other lovely options that could work very nicely for you. Let us see. Hmm. Ah, back to the theme of water that is so very common here in the city of Baylor. I have this beautiful material here. You can see it is similar in color to the other one that I showed you, but so much thinner and lighter. It is flowing and fluid, a little bit translucent, but still has a touch of texture to it. It means that it will not wrinkle very easily. <laughs> it is good for long journeys. Although perhaps the darkness of this colour might not be the best for travelling in the desert. You see, darker colours tend to attract the heat, whereas lighter colours tend to reflect it a bit. Which is why that golden colour is very popular with traders and the like. But... Let me see if I have something else that might be a good solution for you. Hmm. This is quite nice as well. It is a nice rich colour, but again, not particularly light. Ah, now this could be a good option for you. This beautiful, soft, light blue. Again, a beautiful, lightweight material here. Although this one is a bit more opaque than the other blue that I showed you. So it could certainly work for a tunic or a shawl 
or whatever it is that you might be looking to get. It has a lovely texture to it, again, that will help it not show wrinkles or wear so much. And it is still a nice light colour, and so it will help to not attract more heat while you are travelling in the desert. Now, of course, as a traveller, I'm sure you already know this, but of course, travelling in the desert is not always about the heat. It does get very, very hot during the day, but it can also get very treacherous when the winds start to blow along the dunes. And so it is nice to have articles of clothing that could cover the face or the head as well when the winds start to kick up the sands. So this could work perhaps for a shawl that could double as a face covering if need be. This one, I think, looks very, very nice with your skin as well. Yes, that complements your skin tone very beautifully. Looks quite nice with your eyes, too, if you do not mind me saying. No, I think this would be better for perhaps the, the main garment. We could find something else to be a shawl, perhaps, but... I think I do rather like this for the tunic. What do you think? Good, good. I am very glad that you like this one. It is a beautiful, beautiful colour. <laughs> but still very, very practical. As I said, you do not need to substitute beauty for practicality. Not in my shop, anyway. You can have both. As much of either as you would like. I think that would make a very good garment for you. So are you thinking a tunic in the traditional style of Beowulf here? Yeah? Good, good. Yes, I think that would be very nice. Flowing and versatile. Something that you can wrap tightly or wear open if you would like. This would be an excellent material for now, as far as a scarf, or shawl, or head covering, something that could be very, very versatile, perhaps you would like something that is even lighter coloured, especially if it is going to be over the head. I have a beautiful material here that is very lightweight. I like to use this for head coverings because it is such a light colour and such a breathable material that it will not feel stuffy as you are wearing it, but will certainly help to keep you safe. So we could do this colour for the main garment, and then this over top. What do you think? Good, good. And then perhaps this lovely darker color. It really does look so nice with your skin. And of course it looks very nice with the blue as well. Perhaps with this one we could make a sash to wrap around your waist. I'll make it a little thicker so that if it does get to be too cold for you in the evening, and at night, you could take this off from around your waist and throw it around your shoulders for a bit of extra warmth. And on your waist, it will not matter that it is, it's a slightly darker colour. I think the three of those materials would look very, very nice together, especially with your skin tone and features. What do you think? Good, good. Yes, I think that is a winning combination for you. Now, do you want an overcoat or shawl as well? Something that is a little thicker in case you are travelling through the night? You have some of that. All right, of course, of course. I will be happy to make the three pieces that we discussed, and you can certainly 
add in some of your own style as well. <laughs> Perfect. I think that that is a lovely combination for you. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to start getting some measurements of you, all right? I like to make sure that all of my garments fit you perfectly. Comfortable and flattering. It's not so cumbersome, you know, if something is too short or too long, it can get in the way. But the perfect length, the perfect fit, that is the only garment that I will let leave my shop. Let me grab my tape here. We will start to get some measurements, all right? Now, if you could stand somewhat straight, it does not have to be stiff and rigid, but just stand up a little bit straight for me as I start to take some measurements around the shoulders, okay? Wonderful. Yes, no, that is perfect. Just get and then there, okay, good, 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 good. And the one shoulder from the collar. Good, good. Good, alright. I'm going to get a circumference of your neck if that is alright. Okay, here we go. Alright. Is that good? Snug but not tight. Good, good. Let me write those down first before I go forgetting them. <laughs> when you have as many orders and as many years working as I do, numbers do not stay in my head indefinitely anymore. <laughs> there we are. Now, could I put a name with this order, if you don't mind? Wonderful. No, no, just the first name is fine. I do have some clients who prefer to remain a bit more anonymous. Perfectly fine. There is no judgment here. All right, good, good, good. Write down those measurements. Now, I think I will get your arms next, okay? Could you hold out your arms a little bit to the side? Thank you. Good, good. Let's start this side over here. The neck, the front, the shoulder, there. Okay. And then down to the wrist. Right. Good. Circumference here. Good, good. All right. Make sure your arms are nice and relaxed, not flexed or anything like that. Good. All right. Now, you, would you mind flexing for? Wonderful. Good, good. And at the elbow here. Could you hold your arm out straight, please? Good. And now bend at the elbow a little for me. Alright, good. Just want to make sure there is enough movement again without being too much excess fabric. And down here there is. Okay. First, just nice and relaxed, all right? Okay, good, good. All right. Good, 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 good. Now, circumference of the arm here, nice and relaxed. Good. And now, if you would not mind flexing again. Perfect. 
Now down here at the elbow, hold your arm somewhat straight, please. Good. All right, and now bend at the elbow, please. Excellent. Good, good. Slide down here to the wrist. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And I hope you have been enjoying your time here in Bewe thus far. It is a beautiful city to explore. Yes, you are right. There has been a string of thefts lately. Fortunately, I was not one of the victims, but I know some who were. It is a dark time. I wish that you could see Beowulf when it was a bit more feeling like itself. Everyone is perhaps a bit more cautious these days. Just a bit. I hope that you have still gotten to experience some of the hospitality that our city has to offer. Good. That is very, very good. Glad that not everyone is so fearful that they have become suspicious of kind strangers like you. All right, if you could lift up your arms just a bit, I'm going to get the circumferences of the torso, okay? All right, thank you. It's going to reach around here. Pardon me. All right, now take a nice deep breath out please and push as much of the air out of your lungs as you can good and now a nice deep breath in good good thank you very much all right let's move this down to the waist here yeah. all right another nice deep breath please good all right and now down here Good, good, good. All right, just going to hold this right at your collarbone there, okay? Down to the hips. Okay. Good, good. Right. Good, good. All right. Good, good. So are you here in the city of Bewet for business or for a bit of pleasure? I see. And I hope that you can enjoy some pleasures as well while you are here. There is much to experience here. Much that can be enjoyed. All right. I'm going to get some measurements of the legs, all right? Just stand nice and relaxed, okay? You don't have to try to be perfectly straight for this. I want to make sure that I get it to be comfortable here for you. Right? Good, good, good. Let me tie there. Other side over here. Good. Good. All right. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Now I would just like to get a feel on the back as well. The torso measures different from the front and the back. Everyone has a bit of a curvature to the back and the front. Good to be thorough and get both. Alright. Let me just move to the side here. Okay, here we go. Just again, nice and 
relaxed, you don't have to be stiff, straight or anything like that. So to get the length of the back here from the nape, the neck down to the knees, you can go to and under the floor here. Good, 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 good. Alright. Alright. Get those written down as well. Now, do you have a particular timeline that you need this new outfit for? Or just as soon as possible? Of course, of course. Well, the construction should be relatively simple, especially if you don't want any sort of embellishments or anything like that. So, hopefully... Hmm. Yes, I think I should be able to have it done for you by evening tomorrow, if that is acceptable to you. Good, good, good. I do often do my best work at night. It is unfortunate because I should be sleeping with the rest of the city, but such is the life of a creative sometimes. But I will work on it this evening. And I should have most of, at least, the main tunic finished. So, if you come back tomorrow, let's say any time later afternoon to the evening, I should be able to deliver it to you, alright? Good, good, good. I think that should be... Yes, not too difficult. Well, I am very glad that you came to visit my little shop here. I hope that this garment helps you feel a bit more at home here in the city of Peru. Now, how are you set for accessories and things like that? Do you need any sort of gloves or gauntlets or a hat, perhaps, to keep the sun out of your face? Ah, you have those things. All right, of course, of course. Well, if you do think of anything else that you need, I am prepared to fully outfit you <laughs> for any sort of travel. Hopefully you will have safe travels while you are here in the desert and not befall some of the misfortunate things that have happened here in Bayweb. But wherever it is that your travels take you, I wish you luck and life. Well, I will see you tomorrow evening, alright? And until then, may the waters of life 